Hi, I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com, and in this video, we're going to talk about this Make It Now project. Uh, you know, it may be a little stumper for the new folks out there that uh, want to make a little wedding card invitation, as well as edit the text that is on there as well, because it may be a little tricky. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new to the Make It Now projects, they're basically projects that are are quick projects that are put together for you for you to use uh, with your Cricut Explorer. All right. Uh, over here, it tells you about the ma material that you'll need for this. And over here in the project resources, this is the important part uh, that we need to take note of. Uh, notice that it has the font labeled down here, um, but we don't know what it is. That's because we need to click on the information I, and that will let us know. So we need to take note of a couple things. We need to, to note that it's Cake Basics as well as Baby Steps. All right. Now, because we do need to customize this, we need to click on the Customize button. When I click on that, the entire layout, the Make It Now project, is now put on my canvas for me to edit. Uh, something that we will come to here, and this is the problem that most people get into, is how do we edit the text? You know, you're trying to double click, it doesn't work. What do we got to do? Well, I always tell people look at the Layers menu and see what is actually going on. As you can see, it is an attached set, and for this, we need to detach, all right? So once we click the Detach button, what this will do, it will free up that square, so the square is now free, and we also now have individual letters uh, that we can now click on. Now, we need to add the names of the people that are actually getting married, all right? So let's go ahead and add some text. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this and just type in John Doe for now. Uh, I have it all caps because it's all caps right here. All right. Now, remember at the very beginning I told you please take note of the font that was used. All right. If we go under the edit menu, now this will help speed you up. We know that it is a writing style font that we want. So we go here and click has a writing style. The next thing is we took a note that it was Cake Basics. So let's go ahead and find Cake Basics on here. There it is. So we selected it. Now the next thing is we do need to size it up. So you can either do this visually on here to see what's going on, or you can select an individual letter and take note of the height that says uh, 0 0.36. So let's go ahead and make that 0 0.36. All right, and then that will get us to the height that we want. So now we just simply select this, replace it. All right, so there we go, and then we can put that right there. Now, once we have all the names and all the lettering correct, like I said, you're going to have to do the same thing for down here, uh, you know, to customize it. But that's how you customize the font or customize the wording on here. Once you have that all together, what I always do is just for ease of movement, I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to go to my layers. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the group button. Now that doesn't uh, do much for us, but makes it easier for us to click on it and move it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the white square. And something that I do want to make sure, because I want this to look professional, is I want this to be centered on the white square. So in order to get that to happen, I already have the white square selected, but I can do the white square, hold the shift button down, and click on the text. Okay. Now you can see that they are both moving together. If we go under the Align tool, and we center it both horizontally and vertically, we can click that. There it goes. Once we have it set in position, the final step for this thing to work is we need to click the Attach button. When we click Attach, now we are ready to go and actually click go and you'll see that we'll have two mats here one for the gray and then the other one for the white square with the writing font that goes on there all right so hopefully that uh, that helped you guys out like i said check the description below we'll have that link for this project so you can follow along um, hopefully you like this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're always producing more videos for you to learn a little bit more about your software.
All right. So until next time, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com. Bye.